Hi, and welcome to Hope With Answers. My name is Montessa Lee. Joined alongside of me is Dr. Vincent Land. Can I call you Vincent? Absolutely, please do. Oh, thank you. So we've talked about chemotherapy. And Vincent, do you mind just giving us a recap about the definition of chemotherapy and some of those side effects? Yes. So, you know, as we've discussed, chemotherapy is really just a broad term to describe many of the cancer treatments that we use for our patients, um, and specifically the ones that target the fastest growing cells, uh, uh, particularly the cancer cells. So chemotherapy is a really important part of many of our patients' cancer journey. journey. Um, and so it really is such an important tool in our toolbox. Vincent, what exactly is a cycle when we talk about chemotherapy treatment? That's a great question, Montessa. It's funny because we throw these terms around all the time and assume that our patients know um, some of this chemotherapy lingo when it's completely foreign to, you know, to many of them. So a cycle simply refers to the duration of time that elapses between each treatment of chemotherapy that they get. And a chemotherapy regimen comprises of multiple cycles. So for example, um, the common lung cancer chemotherapy regimens often are given once every three weeks or every four weeks. So each cycle would be three or four weeks. Oh, and we are talking about this new um, treatment option. Can you tell us what is this recent um, treatment option? Yeah, so, you know, we did talk previously about how chemotherapy can impact the bone marrow and thus um, uh, kill some of our good cells in the bone marrow, like the white blood cells and the red blood cells. Um, this new treatment is, 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 is really exciting in that it actually allows us to protect those cells from being harmed before chemotherapy is given. So that's really um, just a, a novel way of trying to, to reduce some of the debilitating side effects that our patients uh, often encounter as they go through chemotherapy. This is promising news for patients. It absolutely is. And you know this approach is being studied in clinical trials for other cancers as well. So how do patients talk to their doctors, you know, about minimizing some of these side effects or, or different treatment options? That's a great question. I think it actually starts uh, um, at the beginning when your doctor is talking to you about um, uh, chemotherapy and proposing it as a treatment, really asking, you know, what that looks like in terms of the schedule and what each cycle of chemotherapy looks like and what that means. Um, and then also um, what kind of side effects are expected and what can be done to help prevent against those side effects or to treat them as they arise. Yes, and I, I could remember having some of those side effects and thinking, when do I go to my doctor to talk to him and tell him, you know, I'm experiencing X, Y, and Z, you know, my, I'm, I'm fatigued, my stomach is upset, you know, I have nausea. nausea. and that's great information that, you know, to have that open dialogue with their doctor. So thank you, Dr. Lamb, and thank you for joining us on Hope With Answers.